Turkey has officially launched one of its most ambitious defense modernization projects to date. A massive program to rebuild, upgrade, and modernize its 130F-16 fighter jets into a super-advanced next-generation platform. This marks a turning point in the evolution of Turkish air power and demonstrates its determination to achieve full defense autonomy. The project, dubbed the Skirta Modernization Program, aims to transform the country's existing F-16 fleet into advanced fighters, equipped with indigenous avionics, mission computers, radar systems, and electronic warfare equipment. The goal is to extend the operational life of Turkish F-16s into the 2040s, while reducing dependence on foreign suppliers. A new mission computer, a high-speed multi-core system developed by Aselsan, replacing US-made components, a local electronic warfare system, designed to enhance survivability against modern surface-to-air and air-to-air -air threats, active electronically scanned array radar, providing extended detection range, multi-target tracking, and superior resistance to jamming that enhanced weapons integration, compatibility with domestically developed missiles such as the Gadokin and Bazda-1 air-to-air missiles, as well as the SOMJ air-to-surface cruise missile, enhanced glass cockpit, featuring advanced digital displays, modern data links, and a new pilot interface. With these systems, the upgraded F-16, informally referred to as the F-16 Skir configuration, will rival modern for 0.5 generation fighters such as the F-16V, Rafael, and Eurofighter Typhoon in terms of avionics and combat capabilities. By overhauling this large fleet with cutting-edge technology, Turkey is ensuring its air dominance remains secure until the full deployment of the indigenous TFX Khan Stealth Fighter, which is expected to enter service in the early 2030s. At the heart of this modernization program is Turkey's drive to achieve technological independence. The country has faced several restrictions on defense imports in recent years, prompting a nationwide campaign to develop local alternatives. Turkish aerospace industries Aselsan, Havelson, and Tubadak Biljam are leading the development of key systems domestically. According to Turkish defense officials, this modernization encompasses 130 aircraft in several variants, including the F-16C, D-Block 30, Block 40, and Block 50 Plus. These jets have long been the backbone of the Turkish Air Force, playing a vital role in air defense, reconnaissance, and tactical operations within NATO missions and regional defense strategies. Turkey's F-16 modernization has broad geopolitical implications. Located at the crossroads of Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, Turkey faces evolving security challenges ranging from border operations to NATO missions and regional rivalries in the eastern Mediterranean. Therefore, maintaining a technologically superior air force is a strategic necessity. The modernization of these 230 aircraft represents not only a technical upgrade, but also a strategic message. Turkey intends to remain a leading air power in the region, capable of defending its sovereignty and interests, without relying on external. Suppliers, analysts also note that this program significantly strengthens Turkey's position within NATO, despite tensions with some allies. Turkey continues to contribute one of the largest and most capable air forces within the alliance. This modernization ensures compatibility with NATO standards while integrating local technology, a balance that underscores Ankara's unique position between autonomy and alliance cooperation. Beyond military considerations, the F-16 modernization program offers substantial economic and industrial benefits. The program is expected to create thousands of skilled jobs within the Turkish defense ecosystem and encourage the export of domestic subsystems to other countries. Operating F-16 fleets. Thai and Aselsan have explored opportunities to export modernization kits or provide upgrade support to friendly nations seeking alternatives to U.S. systems. This would further strengthen Turkey's growing role as a global defense supplier. Following its recent success with unmanned aerial systems such as the Bayraktar TB2 and Akinci, the program also accelerates Turkey's R&D capacity in key areas such as radar technology, avionics, and software engineering areas crucial to the country's fifth-generation fighter jet project. The TFX Khan, thus F-16 modernization, serves as both a bridge and a catalyst for the future of Turkish aerospace innovation, the modernization of all 230 aircraft is scheduled to take place in several phases over the next decade. Initial upgrades to the first batch of F-16s have begun at TAI's facility in Ankara, with flight testing and validation currently underway. According to defense officials, the program will proceed as follows. 
Phase 1 to 0 to 5 to 0 to 7. Modernization of 50 Block 30 aircraft. Installation of new mission computers, radars, and cockpit systems. Phase to 2027 to 2030. Upgrade of 90 Block 40 and 50 jets. Integration of indigenous electronic warfare and weapon systems. Phase 3 2030 to 2035. The final batch of 90 aircraft. Incorporating next generation data links and an AI assisted maintenance system. Upon completion, the Turkish Air Force will have one of the most advanced F 16 fleets in the world, rivaling even the latest variants in service with the US and other NATO allies. While Turkey's TFX Khan stealth fighter program is central to its future air power strategy, F 16 modernization ensures seamless operational continuity. The upgraded F 16s will serve alongside KAA and fighters in complementary roles handling a variety of missions, such as interception, patrol, and strike operations. While Khan focuses on stealth and air superiority, this two-tier air fleet strategy mirrors advanced air force strategies, such as those of the U.S. Air Force, a combination of F-35s and F-15EX, offering flexibility and redundancy in combat scenarios. The integration of indigenous systems across both platforms will further simplify logistics training, and data sharing, creating a network-centric, unified air defense structure. The launch of the 230 aircraft modernization program signals Turkey's unwavering commitment to strategic self-reliance in defense production. Over the past decade, Ankara has drastically reduced its reliance on foreign suppliers, moving toward full autonomy in key areas such as drones, missiles, naval platforms, and fighter jet technology. From the success of the Bayraktar TB to drone on the global stage to the launch of the Herjet and Khan, Turkey's defense transformation has become a model for emerging powers, striving for technological sovereignty. The F-16 modernization program is the latest and perhaps most ambitious manifestation of this vision. The modernization of 230 F-16s is more than just a maintenance initiative. It is a bold statement of Turkey's capabilities, ambition, and confidence in its defense industry. By combining a proven platform with local innovation, Turkey is not only extending the lifespan of its aircraft, it is also redefining what legacy systems can achieve in the modern era. As this project progresses, the Turkish Air Force will become stronger, smarter, and more self-sufficient than ever before. This major undertaking reinforces Turkey's status as a rising aerospace power, ready to face the challenges of the 21st century with local strength and strategic vision. Strength and strategic vision.